There's one less wasp in the world to sting me. Took almost a can just to knock it down. That's a super big wasp. I love finding the little odd things around my garden. Those two marigold leaves are very interesting looking. But the other leaves that are coming out are fine. And then it's got little sunflowers next to it. I think I see my first fig. Well, it looks different than the rest. Where did it go? Is it right there? Yep, it's right there. Oh, and it's nice and soft. But it doesn't want to let go. That thing didn't want to let go. It's been test tasted and it's soft. But it's still dripping, so that's not a good sign. That's odd. It's very soft. But it's not developed on the inside. I don't see anything crawling around. I always look for bugs first. Let's see what it tastes like. It tastes like an unripe fig. It's real sticky from the milk. But I'll eat it anyway. Oh dear, is that a bug? Ain't gonna chance it. Wasn't ripe enough. But are there any more? All the rest are still very green and very hard. I found another fig. They're on the south side of the tree, which makes sense. Received more sun and sooner. So let's split this one open. It does have bird bites and it's soft. At least this one's not bleeding. So let's see. It is starting to ripen up a little. Now let's see how it tastes. I'm going to avoid the bird bite side. Hmm. Slight honey flavor. It's not ripe yet but it does have good flavor. Ooh, now I get to have peaches and figs for breakfast every morning. And periodically I throw in a tangelo. And I do tasty. Not quite ripe though. Ginger, would you like your first fig of this season? Not really. And yes, my hands are dirty. That's what happens when you work in the yard. The garden. Oh, do you girls want to try some? Oh yes, we like fig. Ginger's just picky, 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 picky. Looking pretty good. I just might get some. I wish they could hang out a little further and get more sun. And I put a different package of forget-me-nots in each pot. Now those little ones do not look like those little ones. Interesting. But apparently I planted that pot twice because there certainly isn't that many over here. I'll have to go back and check the tape because I may have planted two different kinds also. Well, the potato plants died. Then it shot up this thing. And look, it has a blossom. That is about three feet tall, three and a half feet tall. And it has a blossom on it. Pretty purple blossom. Of course, I like purple. Uh-oh, that's not a good sign. 
I have been critter free for well over a week. And somebody's been digging. Gotta go look and see what else they've tore up. Dug up a few little things back there. Planted seeds yesterday. Luckily they didn't decide to dig them all up. For some reason they like to dig up something when I first planted. I need to cover up the cilantro seeds. There's a little birdie busy at work collecting worms that I didn't even know I had. Don't drop it. You obviously need to go feed somebody. if they, this guy stole that other guy's bike because usually he rides down the other side and not as wobbly <laughs> 